the definition of quota sampling is a non-random and non-probability sampling process based on the number of respondents previously calculated and subdivide the population into various strata. Okay, let's move to the types of quota sampling and it is divided into two, control quota sampling and uncontrolled quota sampling. Control quota sampling, it imposes certain restrictions in order to limit the researcher's choice of sample. The researcher is limited to the selection of sample. Uncontrolled quota sampling, it does not impose any restriction on the researcher's choice of sample. Convenient sampling method in a way that the researcher is free to choose sample group members according to his or her will. So next, we will move to the advantages and disadvantages for quota sampling. There are three advantages of quota sampling. First, it is simple, quick, and convenient to use. Second, quota sampling can save time as it is quick and straightforward method. Third, it saves money because it uses minimalistic budget to execute. So, there are two disadvantages for the quota sampling, which is first, quota sampling are hard to determine sampling errors since these samplings are not chosen by random selection. Second, quota sampling are prone to bias. I will explain about the characteristic of quota sampling. Uh, first, it aims to get the best representation of respondent in the final sample. Second, quota replicate the population of interest in a real sense. For the third characteristic is estimates produced are more representative. Fourth is the quality of quota samples vary. Last but not least is save research data collection time as a sample represents the population. Let's try to example is about a study to investigate the proportion of men and females who use iPhones. The first step of example is divided the population into exclusive subgroups. We got divided to two, that is sample one females and sample two is males. The second step is by identify the proportion of these subgroups in the population. Because the population is about 50, which is males is 15, females is 35. The third step example is select the subject from the two sample while taking into consideration the population previously noted. We got select 20% from each subgroup, 20% of 15 equal to 3 males, 20% of 35 equal to 13 females. The last step example is carry out the survey within each subgroup as the 3 males and 13 females from the group.